Well, it won't take you long to notice how busy things are on Doppler radar. We've got steady or moderate to soaking rain showers that are really beginning to ramp up and more steady rain that is off to the south and to the west, and it will just continue to fill in and these waves of rain will continue overnight and count on wet conditions as you head out the door tomorrow morning. Every corner of the viewing area now under the influence of at least some sort of light to moderate or steadier rainfall that will continue into the morning tomorrow. That rain threat will be with us at that bus stop forecast with temperatures right around 50 degrees. That's where we are right now. Upper 40s to near 50 degrees and rain is going to continue to take over the area and those showers will be steady overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. That severe risk as I highlighted moments ago that is going to be much greater east of us from about Youngstown, Akron, Canton down through about Zanesville over toward Charleston, West Virginia. Columbus going to be under the risk. We are under a very minor risk, especially the eastern edge of our viewing area. So I'll say I-75 and east is going to be the chance we may get a few strong storms between 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. tomorrow. This is going to be the bigger deal for us. One to two inches of rain. Localized flooding will become a concern by about this time tomorrow after this heavy rain really starts to run off into our area rivers. And again, it's going to swell many of our rivers at least to minor flood stage. A few isolated strong storms after 3 p.m. along and east of I-75 and more showers and windy weather on Friday could make for a very raw feeling end to the work week. Here's that first wave of rain coming through in our hour by hour forecast. Warm front that uh, edges into the area tomorrow. That's going to promote more showers, a few downpours and additional rumbles of thunder. Now the situation could be very muddy to cross the area. Very active weather, but the better chance of strong to severe storms is going to be in this area. Here's the clock 4 p.m. east of Columbus, south of Cleveland. This is going to be the zone of a greater risk of strong to severe storms. There may be an isolated strong strong storm just east of I-75, just along that cold front, but I'm not expecting anything widespread. Rainfall will be widespread. How much to expect? Latest data just came in moments ago, and it pushes some areas over two inches of total rainfall in the next 48 hours. Mid 60s for highs on Thursday, heavier downpours, scattered thunderstorms. It'll be a windy, wet day on Friday. Highs only in the low 50s, a raw feeling day. We'll turn it right around into the weekend. Saturday, 63 degrees. Nice looking day with mostly sunny skies back into the low 70s on Sunday. And once we turn that corner, we're going to stay on the warmer side of things. Low to mid 70s Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and could even reach the upper 70s as we get into Thursday for some much warmer mid-April feeling weather.